What is going on guys? It is your boy Zumi. I'm back again with another video. Today's video will be about Gay Pride. Pride Month. Follow the rainbow. Today's video is sponsored by Mountain Dew Frostbite Zero. It's the best shit ever. Ah! Wow, did I really just do that? I am so sorry. Anyway, may I just say Happy Pride Month to all of those out there who are celebrating it and, you know, the, it's their month. And it's also one more thing. I, I, I can't remember um what, what comes in this month. Fuck. What, what is in this month that matters to me, but not to a lot of other fucking people? Oh, yeah! Father's Day! <sighs> anyway, I partake in the Father's Day activities. Yes. Anyway, when it comes to Father's Day, no one gives a fuck about Father's Day. What the fuck is that shit about, man? Come on. And I have no problem with people being, you know, like, oh, Father's Day's whatever. But what I, the one thing, the one fucking thing I can't stand about these motherfuckers is that you got those single moms like, might as well celebrate Father's Day too, because you know what? I am the daddy. I am the mom. No, you're the fucking mother. Shut the fuck up. Sit down and buckle up, because I'm about to school you. For the men out there who are actually fathers, who take care of their kids, this is for you. You're my boys. Well, here's your crown, king. I'm telling you, I'm about to hype y'all up. According to the world of social media, there aren't many good fathers left. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news. We're out of here. You're just not paying attention to us. Because we're too busy being dads. We really don't honestly fucking God care about getting gifts. That's why if you ever go into a Walmart and look for Father's Day stuff. It's in the little fucking corner in the back. And there's like five t-shirts with Father's Day shit on them. Like world's best dad or the man, the myth, the legend. Oh yeah. <laughs> I completely forgot. But besides all that. Honestly, though, for the fathers out there making the effort to be as best of parents as you can, keep it up, guys. I know it's difficult. I know sometimes, you know, you just want to smack your kid upside the head because you're like, what the fuck's wrong with you, man? Come on, get your shit together. Why aren't you 18 yet working? But, I mean, we all want to see our kids succeed. I didn't grow up with my biological father. I grew up with a man who was, I would say, a stepfather. The only difference was, he was old enough to be my grandfather, he was a Vietnam vet, very fucking hardcore, like this guy didn't give a fuck. And I mean he did not give a fuck. He's like, oh, you got suspended from school? I just found a boulder. Here's a sledgehammer. Break it up and, ma and pave the rocks across the driveway. I'm telling you, the man was intense. And no cap, the man bought a fucking yoke for me to wear to till his garden. I'm telling you right now, my stepfather was up there in the crazy. But at the end of the day, we respected each other. You know, we were both adults at the, at, by the time he passed. And he taught me more in the, I'd say, eight years of my life. Uh. That <laughs> He taught me more in the eight years I've known him than anyone else has. And I'm going to tell you right now. I am very thankful to have a male figure in my life that was a positive role model. Granted, albeit a bit racist and somewhat misogynistic. Oh, who am I kidding? He grew up in the 60s. He's... Yeah. Come to think about it, he's also from West Virginia. Fuck! Well, good thing I didn't get all that shit from him or else I'd be fucked. But nonetheless, guys, it's always good to have a positive male role model. Even, even... If they aren't your biological father. Because those men are your father. You know a homeboy from Guardians of the Galaxy says, He may be your father, boy, but I'm your daddy. This shit is like crack. And on the opposite end of the spectrum for Pride Month, I want to say I'm glad that the LGBTQ plus community is getting recognized. I really, I'm glad you are getting recognized. I'm glad you're getting a whole month. But there's just one thing that kind of bugs the fuck out of me. And I'm sorry, I'm going to go there. Most LGBTQ plus communities or, guy or groups are against capitalism. But you guys are all about some gay shit when it comes to damn, you know, product, rainbow stuff. Which is fine. I have no problem with that. 
kind of hypocritical, but hey, it's okay. It's okay. We love you anyway. There is no hate for me. I'm just pointing out certain flaws in certain groups. That's that's just my thing. I love doing that. And the reason why I do that is to make you think, not to cause hate, not to make you think that I'm trying to be hateful or try to belittle what you represent. No, that's not the point. I want you to be critical thinkers and sit down and say, you know what? There's some bullshit in my group that we need to get handled now. But I know what's going to happen. I'm going to hear a bunch of, Oh no, he's hurting my feelings. Oh, what am I going to do? What you do. And, and, and really listen to me here when I say this. Glasses off, eyes at the camera. What you need to do is say, you know what? You have your fun. I'm going to keep living my life and be happy. That's what you do. That is what we strive for. To give no fucks and to be happy. I want you to be happy. Pursue happiness at all costs. As long as you don't kill anybody. That's all I ask for. This is Zoomy. I'm signing out for the night. I'm getting a migraine. All over. Again, guys, I love you. You're all fucking wonderful. Peace out. This is Zoomy. And I'm signing out. Goodbye.